Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. In symbolism, and on my channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Now, for many years now, I've been showing how all of the Earth is actually made up as a grid, literally mapping out everything that's coming, as if the whole Earth is a giant vision board that God has created everything and everything is going according to Scripture. Here in Avalon, in Santa, Catalina. It's going to map out some of the things I've been showing on my channel for a while about Satan coming. Even seen as Pan. See here? Satan. He's also even been called Pan. Pan. Pan right here. Pan with his pipes or his flutes. See, he has his flutes right here. Well, this has also been shown even in 21 Jump Street. See the 21 Jump Street right here with Tatum Channing and Jonah Hill. And for those who don't know, we just had the sign of Jonah with Isis blowing up Jonah's tomb. But this all shows Satan coming. Jonah Hill represents the Satan figure in here. He came as Peter Pan right here. And Tatum Channing is basically his his superstar, the guy that protects him all the time and takes care of him. The same thing was shown in 22 Jump Street. This is in front of us all day long. In the Bible it says they're going to mix the two halves together, basically like mixing the blue and the red. Right here. This is how much it's in front of you all day long. Right there. There's Satan coming with his big strong soldier to try and help him. Right there. Peter Pan. It also goes all the way back to the New World Order coming. Just like with King Arthur coming. And Pan's sword. See like Pan is known for having his sword. Like Excalibur. Now I've mapped this out from all around the world of exactly what's coming. I've shown it even on these glyphs. All of these things map out the end days. The scholars have been lying to us. This is a glyph from Egypt, Akhenaten. Moses came out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and was set free. All of this is considered our burden. Here comes Pan. See him coming right here? Satan, with this big V on his chest for the fifth age. Right here. He has the key to go through this sphinx, which represents Obama. He's going to betray most of the USA and then rise up with his ten nations that he has prepared with England, with Britain and Prince William. Obama's role is to do just as Judas, betray all of us and hand us over to the New World Order, just as Judas did when he handed Jesus over to the court system. Here's the red bull, meaning the red horse of the apocalypse coming. And then you can see this rapture situation with this flaming phoenix going up and Russia ready to rise up right there with all of their their other nations like North Korea, China, all of them rising up. But there he is right there. Here he is on another glyph. This is a Mayan glyph on the other side of the world. These broken pieces are meant to be redesigned and they actually map out the end of days. This broken piece matches Pan's sword again. You see this sword coming? And here comes Pan, right here. And this rock is going to crash into him. He's known as the little horn of the Bible, just as he has his horns. But up here again, you can see the phoenix rising. Now this is him right here. See him with his hat and his hair out to the side? And he only shows him with like his left eye. Then he, when he comes down, he crashes into this dog. This represents Jesus' foot. This represents the heel of Jesus Christ. This will bruise the serpent's head 
and bruise Jesus' heel. At that time you can see the phoenix rising and then the wheel of the great tribulation coming all right here even all the way over to when you turn this over because it can be rearranged you can see right here R F I D this is the R F I D chip coming right there R F I D it means this little electronic chip where they're going to put inside of everybody like turning people into robots literally blending iron with the clay turning man into half machine cyborgs into abominations upon the earth to worship the image of the beast and when he comes with this sword he comes to bring war he's the second horseman of the apocalypse is what it equates to war and when he had opened the second seal I heard the second beast say come and see and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that, that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword right here and he's supposed to return from Avalon just like King Arthur and his round table here is Avalon on Catalina Island and I've shown before that this actually maps out Pan. I showed this a couple of years ago. I showed this a while ago and they actually changed Google Earth to try and slow me down. Literally. Right here is Pan. There he is. This is Pan. See the V on the bottom of his hoof? For the fifth age coming, the big V. The big V, right on his chest. Right there even. You can see it, the big V. It's for the fifth age coming. There he is. There's Pan. They even changed Google Earth. They've changed it a lot since I started doing this. I mean a lot. Let's show here that they actually showed him that he had pants on. And for those that have followed me for many years, you saw that I showed this a long time ago. And he was actually wearing pants. Let's see if we can find that time sequence here. So you can go back in the time areas here. You can see right here, back in 2011, see how he still had his pants on so you can go back in the time sequence here but you can actually see that he had his pants on look at that just like pan half goat half man and he's coming well we need to show him falling into the dog it's actually all mapped out right here and it's actually going to show us launching on Jesus new ark you can see him right here Avalon coming pan right here by LA you can see the dog see right here in the water mapped out perfectly you can see the dog it would be one thing if I was just drawing this and saying that this was pan or if I was just saying oh okay here's the dog but you have to realize the averages of being able to do this right here the averages of being able to show this right here pan coming just like him right there see him right here with his hat coming and then crashing into a dog and then the, the semblance of a type of arc or phoenix rising would be impossible the, the averages are it would never happen unless it was perfectly true Here's Pan, here's the dog. Over here, you can actually see the, the arc rising. You can actually see that over here represents the rock, as I've been showing. He's going to fall on this, like lion, right here. See this lion? The rock. He falls on the rock, or the rock falls on him, is what the Bible says. And you see this is the arc ready to launch right there see it right here in his hands you can 
see the arc right here. Just like this. And at this time, watch how we do this. He comes down, he breaks the dog, he's fallen on the stone, this leaves. This is, in the Bible, this is Jesus' boat. It's called the Ark of His Testament. And now this is real hard to see, but we're going to do it. They have it all mapped out. He actually comes right down through here. You can see him just like that. And now he goes right down into Prince William, right here. There he is. Look at that perfectly. There you go. So there's the whole situation that's coming as I keep showing. The West Coast is going to be destroyed at this time. Here comes Pan from Avalon. He's coming with, to, with his sword to start war. The time of the dog is over. This is when Jesus Christ's heel is bruised and the serpent's head is bruised. And then you can see right here, this is when the Ark of Jesus' Testament is launched. Exactly like that phoenix we keep showing. And Prince William is off to deceive the world. This is a glyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. This will map out the exact same things we just showed. When you turn these over, they hide things in here. A lot of things. But you can see right here. Obama. See right here, this is Obama, and he's taking off this mask to reveal himself as the man of perdition and to betray the USA, to hand us over to the beast. Here is Prince William, and you can see coming right down through here and into his pineal gland is this pirate looking figure. This is Satan, right here, inside of Prince William after this happens. This harp means for the harp machine, which can create earthquakes all around the world, and for the harp on the coat of arms of Prince William. All right there perfect in front of you. All by scripture. All mapped out by God. When the end of days begins, Southern California will be gone. And you can see it all right there just as we've been showing. All the way down and into Prince William. Right there. Oops, let's put that back. There we go. See that perfect? When Obama's mask comes off. When this event happens. See him come down? See the large nuclear event? The Phoenix rises, the Ark of His Testament. Same thing here. And in Mayan lands, see this is the little horn falling on the foot. The foot represents that dog. And this is when Jesus Christ's heel is bruised and the serpent's head is bruised. And we are launched as this phoenix right here. Perfect. Two different sides of the world, exactly the same. Perfect. And mapped out perfectly right here by God himself. Right in front of us. God is real. There is Pan. Right there. Satan coming from Avalon with his sword to start war all across the earth. And the British Empire will be running the great deception all upon this earth. Thank you very much everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us all. It's right in front of us all day long and people have no idea. They just walk right by. There's Peter Pan and Tatum Channing. There's Satan and his warrior that comes to help him. May God have mercy on us all. Tatum Channing is used an awful lot because of his name. When you spell this backwards, it can mean mutant. Like M-U-T-A-N-T. -T, like a mutant. Like an abomination. The two blended together.